Hello everybody, welcome back to my workshop, or in this case my desk. I wanted to show you a, a new stick I've been working on. It is, I call it, for lack of a better term, a floating joystick. Now, it doesn't float or levitate or anything. But what I mean is that I've taken out a centering spring for the stick, so the stick no longer centers. So you can see if this was a, a regular joystick, it would snap back to the center and have a lot of tension. In this case, it stays where you've left it. Now, in particular, I've done this for my uh, musician customers, the USB MIDI stuff, because they wanted to set filters and other things, let's say volume up, down, you don't want it to snap back. So you have your volume there low and volume there high. But this is certainly something I could also run my uh, ATEC code to run on the Xbox, adaptive controller, or your PC, or whatnot. So what happens with this thing is, this is a little more complicated for me to do, which is why they're a little more costly. It starts out with this Alps joystick. So this is the joystick that's in there. This is what you find on PlayStation uh, controllers. And what happens, I have to take this apart. So I have to carefully take this entire thing apart in order to get at a spring inside, which controls the tension. I take that spring out, then I have to put it all back together again, and there you go. Uh, so it does, does take some time. So inside, you could see there is the joystick in there, and then my standard Cutie Pie microcontroller. This is the brains of it and runs all the code. In this case, this device is running uh, USB MIDI code. And this was my prototype. This is the final product. So it is a translucent top with a black bottom and the stick. It's pretty small. It's about two inches in this direction, about an inch and a quarter this way. So it's about as small as I can make it. And it stays where it's at. And of course, when you design something like this, then the ideas start coming out. And from one of my customers, they were asking, can I do more? So I was messing around with doing three sticks at once and prototyping so that it can go all three across like this. I think I'm going to go with this for the production run, which will be pretty soon. But uh, it's kind of a neat feature. Uh, it, it takes a little more time and effort to put together, but I think the functionality is there and you'll really enjoy it. So if you're interested in floating non-centering sticks, check out my Etsy site. Uh, you can always send me an email if you want to learn more, if you're a DIY person and uh, want to make your own. Thanks for watching.